Boy, where are you? How are you? Hello. Oh, good day, sir. My lovely wife. How are you doing? Son, how are you? I'm alright. You're looking good. Yeah, yeah. You seen that with it? Grandpa is here now. Are no, you no. happy? Come on, let's, let's go in. Right. Let's go in. Sure. We're not going to go and biscuit. Welcome. Thank you. Hey. Never send a friend request. Hi. You see why I know they even, they even travel go my own village. You see them? Because all these bad men for village, they are funny at times. Hi. You go. God, I beg, make nothing happen to this boy. I tell God they beg you, God. I beg. What is it? Who is chasing you? It's Akuruka. Akuruka? Yes. Go inside, let me go. Akuruka, what is it? Oh, Dongu! Who is the best you want to have? Oh, Genne. What is it? I don't have said you are chasing her. What has she done? Where is she? My daughter is inside. I want to see her. Aboroka, you are my good friend. Same with your father when he was alive. Listen, if you want my daughter, go home and bring your people. And come and officially ask for her hand in marriage. Yes. Mazi, are you trying to deceive me? Me deceive you? No. I can't deceive you. Aboroka, I can't deceive you. But what I'm trying to say is it's good to do the needful. Just come with your people and make your intention known to us officially. Stop looking. You will have her. Pass. Eh? I heard you, Bansi. You know, Abuka is a humble man. I have respect for elders. I will respect your words. And one more thing, Abroka. Stop chasing her whenever you see her on the road. Girls dislike men who chase them about. Hmm? I've had you, Mazi. Let me go and prepare. It's okay. We'll be waiting for you. I'll be coming back. Mm -hmm. Let me see you near my house again and see what I will do to you if I don't break your head for you. Cut this big fool, baboon. Want to marry my daughter? Let me see you from here. Now they come. 
우리 하나. 왜 이거? 왜 이거? 아비 아비 유 don't branch again. Pontius, if I tell you say I get your time, I deny. The truth no dey me. Where you think say they go? Yeah, Gladys, where you think say they go? You see that my time, eh? You go get that. Gladys, you see this my thing? Where you they go give that boy? Hmm. You go pour jam. You go pour jam one day. Yeah, yeah, I know you. You go soon get my time. Look at you. Eh? You never go mess away, person never go before for this life. Ordinary man should go bring something down the street. She spent the whole day. The whole day. See, eh? You must explain to me where you go. I don't wait for you here. You must explain to me where you go. Ah! Don't bring something down the street. Every day I'm asking God, so why me? Why me? Why? Every day I'm shedding tears, crying. What is the happen? Eh? I see chief, madam, and their son supposed to come back today. They never see come back. Before, I said chief motor park here, but now they see him again. What's in the happen? Uh, Gladys, you see, eh? He never even reached 30 minutes. Where small Oga and her family come back. All of a sudden, I didn't hear the, 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 the look. Eh? All of a sudden, I see her as they carry small picking. Fiam! And Tamoto, they go hospital. Ah ah! Ah ah! what's happened to them? Hmm? What's he happened to the small picking when they carry go hospital? I know here what you ask me, what do you talk? I said, what's he happened to the picking when they carry come out? What's he happened? No, you don't ask me, you don't see, you don't see Dr. Abi? No, I don't talk to the doctor, you don't ask me. Don't you be serious, man. It's not be joking, matter. You should be playing. What's he happened? Oh, okay, okay. Gladys, just relax, eh? Soon, I'll go come back. Make you ask her. It's not be joking, matter. You should be joking. Gladys, nervous. I want to ask you something. Where are you going when they come back? See that question, eh? Go ask your ancestors. Nonsense. I'm going to waste my time. Go ahead. Gladys! Gladys! Me, nonsense! No, no, no! Me, nonsense! You open your mouth to tell me nonsense! Me, nonsense! No, 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 come on in. Me, nonsense! No, come on in. It's happening. I don't blame you. Because I don't see if I start to blame you now to promote you. I go begin to give you shoulder. I don't blame you. No sense ingredients. No entity. No man clutter. Waga who waga ha? Waga who waga ha? Because I, I brought myself down to talk to you. Waga who waga ha? Waga who waga ha? No sense. Imagine. How is he doing, Dr. Well, Chief, um, it's going to be fine. Okay. Okay. Doctor, what happened? Can can you tell us what exactly is the problem? He has febrile convulsion as a result of high fever. <sighs> Doctor, he wasn't sick. No. As a matter of fact. 
He just returned from the village with his parents. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Chief, that's children for you. Their illness always comes as a shock. <sighs> doctor, doctor, please excuse me. Your attention is needed urgently at Ward 15. It's an emergency case, sir. Please excuse me. I'll be right back. If I yes. Was your son sick? How? No. No. So he was he was perfectly fine. All that time we spent at the village, he was fine. So, so how, how do we explain this? Again, baby. Now, what did you stop my son? Eh? I'll be the best in blind. You decided know, very busy. You know, you're baby, baby, baby. You want my little sugar cane, baby? Ha! Oh. Ah, my God. Oh. Madame, 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 Madame. Madame. Sorry, ma. I've been the buff. Madame, as I talk to you, I'm still inside the patrol. Yes, ma'am. Eh? Which hospital? St. Mary's. Okay, ma. I'm coming. Yes, ma. Hey. Good day, Bego. Good day, good day, Bego. I'm not going to be a small one. I'm not going to be a small this one. Hey. Wow. And then six, 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 six. Queen, my daughter, please stop crying, eh? Stop crying. The God who serve does not sleep no slumber. <coughs> There is nothing too hard for him to do. Let me tell you, in totality, what God cannot do does not exist. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say you are God of justice. Yes, God of signs and wonders. You say you will fight for us and we will hold our peace. Hey, God, I call you this hour. Go and heal my grandson. God, you are the God that no man can challenge. You say we'll fight not against flesh and blood, yes. but against principalities and powers of higher places. Therefore, oh God, whatsoever it is that I want to claim the life of my grandson, mm. hey God, use your Holy Ghost fire Amen. and consume them. Amen. Papa, Consume them, overtake them, and consume them for our yes, sake. Sir. God, heal this boy for me. There is nothing you cannot do. You will never allow us to be put to shame, mm. Papa Biko. He will do it. He is okay. In fact, God cannot shame us. You know what? Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye bye, the sick all. Ah, I pray nothing will happen to my nephew. Nothing will happen to me. It's well. Eh? It's well, oh, the gone man. God. God, please. Let nothing happen to that innocent small boy. He's just a boy. Please, Father. Anything will go happen to that boy. To that poor boy. Make it happen to Gladys. Oh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Now, what's that here now? Eh? My tongue will fire you. It made no get sense. How much can I do with that one? Now, you that thing will happen to? Gladys, 
wait oh, wait oh. Why are they like this? Why are you they stingy and heartless? Eh? So you won't tell me say you know we're fit to die for that innocent boy. Upon see the parents like you. Your head no correct. Why you not die for them? Eh? The parents don't like you. Uh, eh? Who, who am I to die for that innocent boy? I don't die for a person already. Oh yes. Now who you die for? Now you I die for. See, eh? You don't forget that day why I tell you say I did die for you. Due to my heavenly God, I let her die. No be joke. Conscious. No vex. And my fault. Let me just decide to waste my time with you. I forget say your head no comments. I bet come lock your gate, I won't come out. Uh, I don't go, but no, no waste time for that hospital, no. No waste time, no. I beg God, I beg. I tell God, they beg you, God. Make nothing happen to that innocent boy. No, only God will do for heaven. Go fit bless you, God. And you. Hold up, you get it. Hold up, you get it. I, 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 Let nothing happen to this little child. A child that just left this house this morning. Eh? Much is My. I don't understand this. Hmm. Machison, let me ask you. Before they left here this morning, was that boy sick? Now you can hear now, Judy. Were you not saying when they left this morning? Nothing is wrong with the boy. He was strong and healthy. Huh. How come he became sick when they got home? Now I don't know. I don't know. Hi. Oh God. <laughs> let nothing happen to this boy. Six years of childlessness. If anything happens to that boy, we will kill ourselves. Stop saying that nothing will happen to him. There's no timely death in my lineage. Hmm. Uh, my, I heard that Oroka came here this morning. Oh, I knew who heard him in Akaoka. Who is that Oroka? Forget that young man. I don't want to hear anything about him. the matter? It's a personal issue, Dad. Personal issue? Yes. But why don't you confine in your dad? I'm your father and your closest confidant. Isn't it wrong with that? Dad. This shows that I have been married for six years with nothing to show for it. No child. Six years without a child. Is that why you're worried? <laughs> I 
Do you know how long it took your mother and I to have you? May God rest her soul. Ten years. Ten good years to have you. Then, I am not you. And my wife is not my late mother. I don't have to wait ten years to have a child. Well, patience. Patience is all that is required at this moment. God knows about your married life. And he will give you a child when the time is due. All you need to do is to exercise patience. Wait on God. When will the time be? Dad, when? I mean, I'm not Abraham and my wife is not Sarah in the Bible. That is not funny. Uh, not. You've just spoken like a child. Uh, well, son, um, I will advise you wait. Hmm? Patience, that is all that is required now. God shall visit you. Maybe today, it could be tomorrow or next. All you need to do is wait on God. Your time shall come. Hmm? That's <laughs> Just spoken like a child. <laughs> Every day I'm asking God, so why me, why me, why? Every day I'm shedding tears. <laughs> my baby, my baby, my baby. What's wrong? Someone took my baby. Your baby, but we don't have a baby yet. No, oh, it was a bad dream. I just saw it in my dream. Who took my baby? It's okay. It was only a dream. It's okay. Wait. So someone took my baby. This this means something. What? No, no, no. This signifies something. I I think. I think someone is responsible for my childlessness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Otherwise, why would someone take my baby, baby in my dream? Baby, listen, honey, don't nurse such thoughts. Okay, it's dangerous to do that. No. When the time is right, God is going to give us a child. All right? Let's go back to sleep. Okay? Sure. Let's go back to sleep. Do you feel so real? It's okay. It's a dream. It's not real. It's okay. I want a baby. God is going to give us a child, all right? Okay. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's a dream. Baby. Yeah? I want us to visit the hospital. What? I'd like for us to go see the doctor. Why? You know, so we can run some tests. Find out our medical status. Mm -hmm. um, my father doesn't like that. I mean, he actually warned me not to go to the hospital. <laughs> Wait a minute, your what? Did you say your father? Hello? You are married? Yeah. To me? 
Yeah, he doesn't like that. He actually warned me not to go to the hospital. Are you kidding me? No. What what has your your daddy got to do with this conversation? I'm, not, I'm listening because from where I stand, you are married. Huh? To me. And from what I see too, you're an adult. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That means you can take decisions for yourself. Why is your daddy in this conversation? Is it because he lives with us? Babe, listen, I know I have my own decisions to make. But at this point, I would rather... I go with his own idea. Which is? You know what, I'll, I'll tell no, you. No, 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 I want to hear it now. Tell I'll me. tell you later when I come back. You're serious? How do I look? You look like you. Uh, all right, wait. You're really going. What is what's wrong with my husband? This don't make any sense. Why does he have to? Why does he have to consult his daddy over the littlest things? Am I missing something? My wife is right after all. We are supposed to see a doctor, at least to know our medical status. But my dad... Okay. Talk to you, please. I'm all yours. Thank you. I want you to help me convince my husband so that he will follow me to the hospital. Six years of childlessness is no joke. We don't even know our medical status. We don't know whose fault this is. I believe that when you talk to him, he'll yield. Oh, well, um, both of you are okay. There is nothing wrong with you guys. You don't know that. You are not a medical doctor, I'm sorry, but I want a doctor to tell us what it is. I, I want us to attack the situation from verified source and medical analysis. Please. Listen to me, young lady. I am not your mate. Right? I'm an old man. 
I can't be lying to you. Not at this age. I've told you that there is nothing wrong with both of you. You are okay. Why are you pushing me? Listen, listen, listen. See, I wouldn't want you people to be frequent in the hospital. I know who I am. Chief Williams, Wangaranya. I have an image and name to protect. I have a reputation to protect. I'm sorry, but what is wrong with what I just said now? I don't get it. Leave my sight. I said leave. Every day I'm asking God, why me, why me, why me? Every day I'm shedding tears, crying, crying. From one problem to the other, no happiness for my family today. If I you have to look for a solution to your problems. You have been going through these problems for six years now. My brother, how long do you intend to go through these problems? So what am I supposed to do? Go against my father's will? Tunde, I can't do that. I'm just totally confused right now. If I have to do something, forget about your father. That old man is living his life and you have your own life to live. Why don't you take your wife, the both of you to go around, look for a medical expert, someone that can look into your problems, okay? I think that's better because you keep complaining and nobody will listen to you. You're right. The truth is my wife has talked about all seeing an expert, but my father keeps kicking against it. Yes. Really? Uh, if I have to forget about that old man, don't listen to him. Okay? Listen, my brother. Take your wife. Go out there. Look for solution to it. Find a solution to your problems. Okay? Else, if you continue like this, my brother, you just lose it. Listen, brother. The earlier you realize you're the head of the family, the better for you. A stitching time since my. Well, I'm done with the proposal you asked me to type. When you need it, you give me a call. So I'll send it to your office. That's okay. All right. I'll see you at the lunch. Please, my love. I need you to calm down. I promise you, we're going to sort things out. Please. I will not calm down. Why in the world should I calm down? When I have no friggin' idea what plans you and your daddy have up your sleeves. I mean, it looks to me as if it is your plan that I hit menopause. Hmm? So that you can then go and get yourself another wife. Is that it? Be crazy. If you don't want me here anymore, just politely ask me to leave and I will leave. Because there is nothing as annoying as living in a house with a group of persons that don't like you. Queen, I love you so much and I can't afford to let you go. Alright? All I'm asking for is time. Just more time. Just be patient. A little more patience, please. Sometimes you... You sound like a baby. 
a suckling baby for that matter. You should hear yourself talk sometimes. For what it's what. I am not asking you to disobey your daddy. Because obviously you are a daddy's boy. But do not disobey or obey your daddy in my own detriment. Because I won't take it. Queen, I think you're taking... I'm going to give you 48 hours to make up your mind and follow me to the hospital. You're taking things... Otherwise, it's over between us. I'm taking what? I'm not taking anything anyhow. 48 hours and I'm not kidding. I still... You're taking things too far, honestly. I'm not going to lie. You are. Just, just be patient and... Don't worry, I'll come in person. <laughs> Don't worry, yes. Uh, trust me, I said I will handle it. <laughs> Dad, we need to talk. Hello, Chief Madu. Please, I'll get back to you later. Please. Thank you. Son, what is it? Dad, you're trying to crash my marriage. You're trying to break my home. I beg your pardon? Why are you stopping us from seeing the doctor? We've discussed this over and over, and I've explained to you my reasons. So why are you coming up with this again? Dad, my wife is threatening to leave the marriage if we don't go to the hospital. Is that what you want? She can't leave. She's just pulling your legs. Son, this is the time for you to stand on your word and show the stuff you are made of. Show the true definition of who you are. She can't leave. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. She's not going anywhere. Dad. Dad, I can see you won't stop being stubborn. Your aim is to crash my marriage. But you must know that this is my life. My marriage, my home, my health. Son, I want you to understand that there is a time and season for everything under the sun. A time to be born, a time to die, and so on and so forth. When it is your time, your body will whisper it to you. Dad, I can see you're out to crash my marriage. But that's fine, I know what to do. Every day I'm asking God, so why me, why me, why me? Every day I'm shedding tears, I'm crying, crying, from one problem to the other. Hello, if I am, I'm going to kill you. What happened? Just, just calm down. Bro, calm down now. Eh, bro, um, let me rush to the mechanic and pick up my car. I'll be with you in a Jiffy. Eh? If he, but just calm down. I'm coming. Eh? Mumbo, eh? Now I'm coming. Just, I'll, I'll come. I'll come. I'll meet you. My love, please open the door. I beg you. Listen, I understand how you feel, but I want you to also know that we're in this together. I've spoken to my father. You need to hear what he said. Please, 
Open the door. What did your daddy say? I... I asked, what did your daddy say? Okay, you're silent. You, you want to be silent. You have no response. What did your daddy say? I'm listening. You tell me what he said. I opened the door. Babe, listen, you're hurting me. You need to stop. I'm sure we can sort this out, okay? We can sort things out, but first you need to open the door, please. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Your daddy said nothing and you're here loving me. It's fine. Stay there. Open the door. Stay there and keep loving me till you decide to tell me what it is your daddy said in response to my request. Until then, I am never going to open this door. Never. Please open the door, please. You may have to break that door. Break the door. Break the door, damn it, because I will not open it. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon. How are you? Chief, I'm fine. Thank you. Your wife and your children? They are better than me. They are very fine. That's great. That's um, great. Chief, you're looking younger every day. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Um, he finds him for me. He wants to see me. Uh, if I is inside. Okay. Uh, I'll meet him right Oh, thank you very much, sir. You can continue enjoying your music. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you very much, Chief. Enjoy your music. <laughs> Why are you standing outside? Timmy, my wife locked me out here. She did what? Yeah. Oh, what did you do to her? <laughs> Same issue we talked about. I have told her time and time again to be patient. We're going to sort things out, but it's quite unfortunate she decided to lock me out here. Oh, this is serious. Queen? Queen? It's me, Tunde. I'm here. Queen, please open the door. Listen, I understand how you feel. I understand. Just open the door. Let's sort to this. Okay, once and for all. Queen, open the door. If I... You just have to listen to your wife. Okay. I have decided to do whatever she wants me to do, but she has to open the door so we can sort things out as a couple. I believe me. You just have to understand. No woman the way they are. Let me try it in Queen! It's me, Tunde. I'm still here. I am here! Please, open. Let's sort out this one song for her. Please, open. I've been standing here for hours, knocking. Begging, no, please, please keep knocking. Begging, please. 
Who we'll open the door, please? We are still here. We need to sort this out once and for all. Okay? Come in. Good day, manager. Hi, Tunde. What's up? I'm fine. Um, we need you to go through this uh, document. Why? So as to know if we we'll, if there will be an amendment to know if we we'll proceed with the project. Okay. I'll be in my office when you're through, you let me know. Excuse me. Uh, two days. I... I was going to say thank you for yesterday. Okay. I mean, um... You're welcome. It was going to be difficult to convince my wife, but with your help, it worked. I'm happy I was there at least. It worked. But the truth is you need to still visit the hospital. At least to prove to your wife that you are not the cause of your childless situation. I think that will be fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I'll be in my office. Great. I'll, I'll give you a call once I'm done with the. Alright, thank you. Thank you. All right. Every day I'm asking God, so why me? Why me? Why? Every day I'm shedding tears. I'm crying, crying. From one problem to the other, no happiness for my family. Today we happy, tomorrow we cry. Hey, I can't take it anymore. Hey. Honey. I need to know if you've made lunch. Where's my wife? <sighs> that was rude of you, son. When did I become your wife's keeper? Eh? Um, anyway, she may be busy in the kitchen. That she's not in the kitchen. I've searched the whole house and she's not here. Then where is she? Queen couldn't have left this compound without my notice. Are you sure she's not hiding somewhere within the compound? Dad, I just said I searched the whole house and she's not here. <laughs> that, that is your problem, young man. So deal with it. Dad, did you say that to me? Of course I said that to you. Go and look for your wife. 
Every day I'm asking God, so why me? Why me? Why? Every day I'm shedding tears. I'm crying, crying. From one problem to the other, no happiness for my family. Today we happy, tomorrow we cry. Hey, I can't take it anymore. I, I, what do you mean that my daughter is not at home? Mama, as we speak, she's nowhere to be found. Have you tried calling her on phone? I called her severally. Her phone is switched off. I can't reach her. Wait. Was there any kind of misunderstanding before she left home? Yes, but Mama, I wouldn't really call that a misunderstanding because we just had a little quarrel, just a slight quarrel about our inability to have a child. She talked about going to the hospital to see a doctor, but my father kicked against it. Why? Why would he kick against it? Was that not the right decision she took? That's the problem. Mama, it's actually a story for another day. He's just, my father can be, he just, I don't know, he's been acting crazy. Doesn't want us to go to the hospital and it, excuse me, sorry. Hello? Queen, what are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. We have to go home. Why are you looking for me? Really? You're my wife. Queen, I married you. If anything happens to you, I'll be held responsible. Do you understand? We need to go right now. Tunde, are you fine? Please talk to this woman. in the first place. You're a married woman. You shouldn't be seen in premises like this. We need to go. I'll follow you if you agree to do the needful. And what is it you want? That you follow me. Follow me to the hospital right now. There, we will subject ourselves to the much-needed test. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Done. <laughs> I love the sound of this. Wonderful. Then, um, case closed. Um, listen, guys. I need to hurry back home to my wife and kids. They are home alone. They need me. Today, please. Thanks a lot. I, I really do appreciate. Okay, and re I'm really sorry for all the uh, inconvenience. No, come on, buddy. <laughs> There's no inconveniences. It's my duty as a friend to do that. All right, I need to hurry back home. Um, Queen, please do <laughs> take care of my friend for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to see the doctor. Let's go to the hospital. You both have to excuse him for now. He needs rest. He has undergone a lot of mental stress that leads to his breakdown. 
you to tell us what is exactly the problem. Because I don't understand this. I, I really don't understand. First it was my son. Now it's my husband. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I really don't understand. Well, like I said earlier, madam, he needs rest. You have to excuse him, please. So follow me. <laughs> 